What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Welcome back to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. Guys, we have a really cool one for you. Uh, a fun figure all the way from 2003. We want to bring you the G.I. Joe versus Cobra Flint action figure. This is a uh, just a really cool fun figure and I'm a big Flint fan because Duke really uh, absorbed so much of the attention as we know as G.I. Joe fans we know and I try to get all of the, the Flint figures every time they released a Flint figure I had to get them and this one to me was one of the cooler Flint figures that they made that Hasbro put out as you can see, he's uh he's pretty geared up. And this is a, a carded figure. Let's bring him down. This is a, a, a carded figure on a basic card, so to speak. But he came with a ton of accessories. Spring activated bazooka. Here's the firing projectile. Super cool. And he had the old classic collection hand sculpts. And this is Hasbro rehashing their parts and, and bodies and uniforms, outfits, things of that nature. It's yes, a beautiful head sculpt. Uh, original head sculpt. There, This head sculpt was not used on any other uh, G.I. Joe to my knowledge and we have a massive G.I. Joe collection here at the uh, MIB Master Museum so this was a, a original head sculpt uh, exclusively for this particular Flint figure and you can see he's got his uh, H harness on beautiful knife right here that slides in and out you can take that knife out of there he's got his logo on on his sleeve beautiful pistol this is a pistol has been reused and reissued in several different uh gi joe figure sets really cool tiger stripe type uh camouflage pants he's got the the gi joe logo there on the pants boots let's see weapon really fires missiles Just a awesome, awesome figure. Holster over there. Guys, if you're just joining us, welcome to the MIB Master Museum. This is what we do. We hang out in our museum. We want you guys to be a part of the fun. We want you guys to be a part of the family. So like and subscribe. And today we're hanging out with Flint. Uh, I purchased this figure from um, Walmart all the way back in 2003. And somebody, uh, a viewer asked me one time, uh, how do you know so far back when, when you got, when, where and when you purchased all of these Joes? You have, you know, so many GI Joes. How do you know exactly, precisely where you purchased every single one? And that's the connection I have with my figures um, every figure to me has his own his own story because it was at some point in time in my life when I, I you know whatever I was doing you know that kind of connected me with these figures so I was having a lot of fun back then obviously you know I did a lot of shopping I spent a lot of money guys <laughs> A lot of money. I wasn't looking at it like that. I was just every time a G.I. Joe would come up, uh, I would go out and find it. And that's about all the that's all about having fun on these G.I. Joe hunts, the thrill of the hunt. Uh, that's what I miss most about um, the, these beautiful figures not being in toy stores anymore. The driving around, the excitement, waking up in the morning with my list of figures that I know I, I you know, I want to check off because I want to get 
I want to purchase, finding some, not finding some, chasing some, driving to other states to see what they had. So that was the fun. And that so with that, that's where the connection came at to just kind of remember where I got these guys from. And just because this Flint is a carded figure um, doesn't mean he's any less important to my collection than one of my figures that cost about $300. And I didn't pay much for this figure. I think I paid $15 or $16 uh, for this figure uh, back in 2003. Uh, he didn't cost a lot. Uh, I've seen Coswell Collectibles have this particular uh, Flint figure. Uh, in the past, I don't know if they have them now, but I would always suggest checking. Um, love this beret, this beret. Although it's it's sculpted out of plastic, it's just they did a beautiful job on this uh, beret. But I would always say check Cotswold Collectibles uh, first and foremost. Let's turn this guy around. Set it back up here. Get you a blown out shot of Flint's uh, carded back back card art. Beautifully, beautifully done. Here's his uh, equipment list. Beautiful drawing, artwork. You see a little backstory on Flint. Spy Troops movie. I remember the Spy Troops movie that came out. I don't think it was very good, but hey, it's it, anything G.I. Joe was cool. Here's Flint's uh, file card. Wichita, Kansas is his birthplace. I always love those file cards. I try to see where the guys were born at. Some of the background history. And that was really cool that Hasbro did that with G.I. Joe. Here's another one we, that's, we did. The Cobra Claws. Let's get you a year. 2003 Hasbro. Here's a great uh, weapon really fires. It's a great action shot of the actual figure. You can see, still see the sheen on the back of this card. You see the light. Just clean. It's Flint in all of his glory. Great action pose. And some poses may require additional support. Guys, what do you think of our Flint figure? Do you have this guy? Are you looking for this guy? Not hard to find, guys. Not hard to find. Um, Coswell Collectibles first. Then I would say uh, eBay. And then Amazon. But watch out for eBay. People like to kind of hike the prices up and uh, charge insanely amounts of shipping and handling. You know, I see the figure might be like $10 and shipping and handling is like $35 or something like that. So they're going to get you one way or the other. <laughs> so it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's crazy. But just be careful with that. That type of stuff. Hate those rubber bands. There's no need for those rubber bands. <laughs> He's got a molded uh, t-shirt. Some people don't like those molded t-shirts. Uh, this was Hasbro's way of kind of saving some money and cutting some corners. And uh, anything to keep the price down, I guess. Uh, so I, I didn't have a big problem with those molded t-shirts. Uh, give me some type of cloth. He's got the, 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 the pants are cloth. But um it looked pretty cool. I didn't have a problem. I didn't have a problem with the uh molded uh t shirts. Once again, uh that's the charm of some of these figures. Um they had their own sense of style, their own their own type of uh makeup, if you will, to the to the figure, the construction of the figure. Guys, we want to 
thank you for hanging out with us today and sharing some time with us here at our museum. We'll be back, guys. You know the routine. God bless. And keep collecting.